So that's enough. But first, concern for their well-being after several of their co-workers test positive coronavirus. Employees at a live oak chicken plant speak out, saying more needs to be done to keep them safe. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11, everybody. I'm Abby Walton. And I'm Ben Kaplan. We first told you about this story late last month. Several employees and supervisors at Pilgrim's Pride Chicken Plant testing positive for COVID-19. The Suwannee County Health Department investigating both they and Pilgrim's Pride not releasing how many workers were sick. At the time, family members reached out to WCTV concerned for their loved one's health. But today, current employees are talking to us, saying the company needs to do more to protect them. Amber Spradley has the story. A spokesperson for Pilgrim's Pride tells me they provided on-site testing here at the facility in Live Oak just a couple of weeks ago for anyone who wanted to be tested for the virus. I'm speaking with a lot of their employees outside the facility on Monday, though, who tell me they're still concerned about their well-being just going to work here. There's chicken grease and everything else, chicken fat. You're looking at Marlena Coleman's PPE. She says it was provided to her by Pilgrim's Pride. However, Marlena telling us the company is asking them to reuse these day after day. They don't change them out. The only time they change them out is if you rip them and you have to take them back. Amy Fritz is a mother of five, an employee of Pilgrim's Pride. Both she and one of her children have weakened immune systems, diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease. It just makes me scared to work there. It makes me not want to go to work, but I know I have to support my family. I reached out to corporate officers Monday to see if they'd do an on-camera interview with me. They declined, instead providing this statement saying in part, quote, we're following all issued guidelines around safety and social distancing, and we're doing everything possible to provide a safe environment for our team. The mask is not enough. They need to close the plant down, and they need to give us a pay raise. Now, I did reach out to Live Oak City and Suwannee County officials who both referred me back to the health department. I reached out to Mayor Frank Davis, who also refused to comment. Reporting in Suwannee County, Amber Spradley, WCTV Eyewitness News. And we did reach out to the Florida Department of Health again today regarding Pil Pilgrim's Pride, the number of positive COVID cases and the steps they're taking to keep workers safe. They did get back with us, however, did not answer any of those questions. Instead, they sent us a statement saying they're currently investigating and contact tracing all possible.